Fortnite's new season gave us the OG map, items, and weapons like the classic pump. But what if I told you this was a lie? I'm sure in the key art for season five, you could clearly see the OG pump, right? Well, that's until you log a game, pick it up for yourself, and realize this is actually the gun from chapter two. And this goes further than that. They did the same thing with the tack shotgun. It's not even the original model. Let me give you some advice. Don't jump into the water. Since 2019, we've been used to swimming around and dolphin diving, but with the new map, there's only one place where you should actually be able to swim, Loot Lake. But once you enter the water, you quickly realize the entire mechanic is missing. Not only do you have to build over the lake, but jumping into the ocean is an instant return to the lobby, just like the old days. Now for any of us who land at Fatal Field, something feels off about this place. You can't put your finger on it, but it doesn't feel the same as it used to. Well, I might know your problem. There's two barns, which doesn't sound bad until you realize what this replaced. Fatal used to have a gigantic house where most of the loot could be found. For some reason, they decided to drop a barn on it instead. A change people are happy about evolves Fortnite's mascot, the Llamas. We all got pretty tired of chasing them, and every time you found one, most of us would just ignore it. But now, they've been reverted back to normal, allowing you to open them like any other chest or supply drop. Hopefully it stays this way. And over at the Big Cherry Easter Egg, there's a secret POI which was quietly changed. In Chapter 1, this was the Tree of Life, easily the best thing in the map for farming wood. You could get 200 mats out of this, earning the title of Tree of Life. However, when you return here, it's still there except Fortnite made it indestructible. I guess it went from saving our lives to having one for eternity. A change no one's talking about involves cars, but not in the way you think. Sure, drivable cars are no longer in the game, and this has resulted in hundreds of useless vehicles around the map. Anyone who played in 2018 will remember these days, but there's a slight difference. There's no police cars. Epic went through and deleted every single cop car from the map, confirming once and for all, they're never coming back. This also means the gas stations are totally useless again. If you destroy these, they still burst into flames, but it's not like you can fill up your car or anything. Instead, you should fill your inventory with insane loot. The best way to do that is by finding an epic rarity chest, you know, the blue glowing ones. They've been around for a while now, and it's always a great feeling when you find one, except in season OG, you ain't gonna. Epic has secretly removed epic chests because they simply didn't exist in 2018. They could have made an exception though. But something no one was expecting is a huge change in the layout of Tilted Towers. As the most famous POI in history, you'd probably leave it untouched, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, so much for that, because an entire building is missing from OG Tilted. This used to be called Trump Tower by the community, and it had a restaurant along with an apartment block above. People used to love this place, but it is nowhere to be found in 2023. Instead, no sweat insurance has taken over. From one surprising removal to another, everyone was shocked when they wanted to check out the battle pass for this season. On the website, they usually display what's on offer, except if you go here now, it says the battle pass will return next season. I know, terrifying, but there's a good reason for this. Technically, it's the OG pass now, so I guess Fortnite only considers it a battle pass if there's a hundred tiers. Another secret removal is hiding in the desert biome. The original chapter had a ton of small POIs in this area, and while most of them survived the jump to chapter 4, one mountain has been resculpted. These two look like two separate hills right now, but back in 2018, they were connected by a huge canyon bridge. I have no idea why they got rid of this, but Epic didn't even replace it with a zip line. And that's not all, out of habit, you probably run up to a dumpster this season, only to find out that nothing happens. Fortnite removed all the teleporting dumpsters from the map, and you can't even hide in them. The same goes for porta potties, which are basically just decoration now. This is where it gets weird though. For some reason, hay bales are interactive, making them the only hiding spot left in Fortnite. It'll probably get patched soon, just like the swing set of death. In the super early days, this was one of the first decorations to have real physics. So you can walk up to it and the swing would totally freak out. Not just that, the entire game had a meltdown. I'm not joking, people will get banned by anti-cheat just for touching it, so everyone's been wondering, is it back in Fortnite? Well, if you visit the swing set of death in 2023, the physics are gone forever. Now, you've probably been so distracted by all the new features, you forgot what's missing. Well, for anyone who's opened an icebox this season, only to be given a handful of food, it's probably because fish have been vaulted. Yeah, say goodbye to your favorite flopper, because the entire fishing mechanic is now gone for the first time since chapter 2. It makes sense, there's only one place you could fish, and that's Loot Lake, where you probably get sniped in like five seconds. Not the only creature to vanish, all wildlife are currently missing from the game, so you can't walk around and find a frog or a chicken anymore. You especially can't ride on your favorite wolf or boar. This has a huge knock-on effect too, making it harder for mobility, but also healing up. No more farming meat when you're in a hurry, but hey, at least we have like a million chug jugs on the map. What we don't have is a million item shop tabs. Every time you wanted to buy something from the store, you'd have to scroll down like six pages just to find what you need. It was starting to get ridiculous, and players 
constantly complain about how overwhelming the item shop is. Luckily, with the theme of returning to 2018, they have reverted the entire store to only a handful of cosmetics, just like the original design. But did you know one of Chapter 4's biggest features is also nowhere to be found? In previous seasons, with every storm phase, you would get to choose a reality augment. It was basically a perk that could completely turn your match around. A lot of people were excited to use these on the OG map, seeing how it would affect gameplay, only for Epic to straight up delete it. Hopefully they return in Chapter 5, unlike a feature that people have some mixed opinions on. For over three years, we've had the evolution of Fortnite's NPCs going from basic characters to walking and talking item shops. They became pretty useful, especially when you can land at your favorite place and buy an exotic or mythic every game, except a huge chunk of these players also hate these guys. Well, you don't have to put up with them anymore because we are back to the basics this season. In fact, the removal of NPCs has created a huge ripple across the loot pool. You probably run into a store and out of habit, tried to open a cash register only for nothing to happen. That's because gold itself has been secretly vaulted. Not that kind of vault though, those were removed too, along with saves, keys, and hollow chests. That means you can't steal money from your local ice cream shop anymore, but even Lil Whip is taking a hit to his business. All of the modern Lil Whip vans are gone, replaced with the old classic ice cream trucks. These were the original, and back in 2018, they literally had over 100,000 health, and no one knows why to this day. It was a total mystery full of emotion, wonder, and in some cases, reward. But sadly, Fortnite has brought back these infamous vans, but removed the secret health. The disappearance of gold also explains why vending machines cost mats again. This is how they used to be before currency was brought to Fortnite, and players are loving it. Now, sadly, this wasn't added without sacrifice. Lana, the adorable talking llama that would comment on our outfits or dances, is gone. She was accidentally deleted in a patch last season, and we only just got her back. I guess the joy didn't last long, though. And it seems Epic weren't a fan of certain buildings from Chapter 1, because Fatal and Tilted weren't the only ones affected. Fans of Snobby Shores dropped there this season, only to find the modern house in the middle had been changed. Instead of the usual three-story mansion, it has been switched to the same house as next door with no explanation. Not the only change we have to get used to. For build players, you're always looking for something to farm. It's just a habit, and one of the easiest things to hit were plants. In just a single strike, you could get five day materials. But for some reason, Epic decided to stop us from doing this. Now anyone who hits these plants will realize they are indestructible. It's so random. You can't even destroy them with fire, because that's gone too. Not just fireflies, but the entire feature. When gas stations explode, they don't spread flames. It's a contain blast. There's no fuel cans either, so that's ruled out. The only way you can technically burn is by standing on a campfire, but the second you get off, you're pretty much fine. Look, there's a ton of differences between this season and the past, yet it's also the perfect mashup of OG Fortnite and Chapter 4. I mean, look at the graphics. They completely changed the sky back to 2018, but kept the Unreal Engine 5 upgrades, allowing for beautiful lighting that is totally different from previous seasons. While you're distracted by OG Fortnite never looking better, try not to get eliminated by a bounty hunter. Actually, you don't have to worry about that because bounties are gone along with the job boards that handed out challenges. These are super useful over the years as a great way to earn XP and quick gold, but I feel like they're being used less and less, so it makes sense. You probably didn't notice that a core feature from last season is missing, and that's because it's hiding in Loot Lake as we speak. The center house appeared only a couple weeks ago in the form of Loot Island. It ripped in throughout the match, and the first to capture it got a ton of weapons. Obviously, the real thing is right in front of us, so it'd be weird for this to stay in game. Sadly, items we're gonna miss include the competitor to Slurp juice. I'm sure there are chug jugs everywhere, but you can't drink anything else, especially slap juice. Whether it's throwing down a splash or hitting a barrel and getting unlimited stamina, you can't do this anymore. But it still won't be as missed as the other healing item, med mists. Probably the most convenient type of health we have ever seen, basically a med kit that you could use while running. It would have been a goaded item in chapter one, but I guess we'll never know. That is everything secretly changed in Fortnite's OG season. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.